ChatGPT is the best tool for doing research on the internet, but only if you know these two crucial steps in order to set it up correctly. Whether you own a business, you're a student, or an independent researcher, this video is going to help you save hours of your time in the future. And this takes researching to a whole nother level. You can literally research any subject when applying these techniques. Let's get into it. The first thing we need to enable for this researching to be effective in ChatGPT is custom instructions. So we're going to open up our sidebar over there, head down to these three dots in the bottom left hand corner, and now we can select custom instructions. And now everybody can use custom instructions in ChatGPT, so this is very nice. There's two boxes here. What would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? And also, how would you like ChatGPT to respond? So you can fill these out personally like this, and you can just answer these questions from these thought starters or however you want to answer these questions. Or what I like to do is I like to use my custom personas database. I have over 300 different personas in here. So these really make ChatGPT into an expert in pretty much any profession. If you want to learn more about these or you want to purchase these, I will leave a link in the description or the top pinned comment. I have 10 categories here. So in order to research something, what do I want to be or who do I want to be? Well, first I'm going to go to the education category. Then I'm going to select university professor. And now I'm going to copy these two pre-filled responses and paste them into ChatGPT's custom instructions, just like shown. This can be done very quickly. And now that we have all of this pasted in here, ChatGPT is going to think like a university professor since that is the role that we've selected. And now make sure this is checked on, enable for new chats. And this actually has to be on in order to edit the information within this box too. So if this is off, you can't click in here and edit anything. So just make sure you enable it for new chats and then select save. Now that custom instructions are enabled, ChatGPT's responses will already be much better than what they were without having that custom role activated within the custom instructions. Next, we have to enable a plugin that is going to make our studying and research much more effective by providing links and organizing the information in a way that's a lot easier to understand. These links are going to allow you to cite your work and also read a little bit more about that subject. So let me dive into showing you how to activate that plugin. In order to actually activate the plugins, you need to have GPT plus, but after you do have GPT four selected, you can go down to the plugins feature and select that. Next, you can head up underneath the model selector where it says no plugins enabled, and you can scroll down to the plugin store. And then make sure that you are on the all plugins category. Once you have all selected, head over to the search bar where you can search plugins and type in the word consensus I didn't even type out the full word. And then you want to install this plugin by hitting the green install button. The consensus search plugin gets answers and insights directly from 200 million plus scientific papers to use. Just ask a research question. So this is going to be extremely useful when researching any subject. It's going to provide us with links, uh, resources, and citations once we do click on those links. Now that we have that plugin installed, make sure we head back up here to make sure that it is enabled. So I'm going to hit it to enable it. Now you can see I have this enabled. Now that we have the prerequisites complete, we can actually get into some researching. So how can we use these two items that we've just activated and get some awesome results? Well, the plugin and the custom instructions do a lot of the work. You don't need these long thought out prompts. All you need to do is state your problem and it will help you do the research. So for this first category and this first example, I'm going to be researching something regarding health. So I can type in something like this. I need help researching the effect of screen time from generation to generation. So how is screen time affecting each generation? I can tell ChatGPT my mission. What am I trying to complete? Well, I need help researching the effect of screen time from generation to generation. And then I can give ChatGPT my overall goal in order to dive deeper into my problems and in order to get a better response. So let's just say my goal is to complete a research paper for my health class. And even with that little bit of information that this paper is for a health class, ChatGPT will tailor the response more so to my situation. And now we can send off this prompt and we can see the results. As you can see, I haven't done much. All I did was I told ChatGPT I need help researching the effect of screen time from generation to generation. And now it's using this plugin and it's going to provide me with an awesome way to research screen time from generation to generation. It's going to provide me links where I can then cite my information and all of my work. 
Now, as you can see, it gives me a bunch of categories in order to help me with my research. It gives me the key findings, and then it goes into six key findings it found while doing research on the subject I requested. It goes into the methodological considerations. It gives me two of those with links in both of those. And then it gives me implications for future research. Then you can see it gives me these nice three links that I can click on down below in order to go more in detail. And using the custom instructions, normally ChatGPT would not ask you follow-up questions, but now ChatGPT is using those custom instructions and it's helping you to go much further into your responses with stuff like this. Would you like to explore any of these areas in more detail? And let's say what I want to do is I want to go more in depth on negative health outcomes. What I can do is I can click on the link that it provided me, and then it gives me much more information with citations available that I can use for my research. So I can even hit cite, and I can cite this finding in whatever citation format I need to, and then hit copy text. I could then use a synthesized learning dual prompt approach within ChatGPT in order to go deeper with the generated knowledge in ChatGPT. So I can type out a prompt like this. Create me a proper research paper based on your findings on screen time. So I'm using this generated knowledge that ChatGPT has given me. And what I've done is I've created a follow-up prompt for that knowledge. So this was not previously known before I typed out my initial prompt. And now I'm going more in depth on what I just learned and creating a research paper based on all of the information. So I'm going to send it off. And now it's formatting this research paper, how a research paper needs to be formatted. It's giving us a nice bold header, abstract, introduction, literature review with citations here and links, methodology, findings, discussion, future research, conclusion, and references, which we can actually add from all of the links that it provided. And now, of course, each section would need in-depth exploration and research, but what it's done is it's given us this beautiful outline that we can now use in a matter of 30 seconds. And if I want to, I can just tell it to go further in depth on any one of the sections that I'm struggling with. Now I can use this as a base outline in order to have a properly formatted research paper. Now this example in particular could help you grow your business by finding outliers and certain things that bigger companies are doing that you can implement in your smaller company. So let's dive into how to use this method as a business owner. And this is just one of many ways you can do this. So first what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave this plugin enabled, but I'm going to go back to custom instructions and I am going to delete both of these sections. And now that I have those deleted, what I'm going to do is go back to my 300 custom personas for ChatGPT, and I'm going to head over to the business category. And then I can look for something that will help me grow my business. So maybe I actually need a business coach for this. As you can see, the key responsibilities of a business coach is to advise businesses on growth strategies, leadership, and decision-making. So what I can do is I can copy these and paste them in there proper categories here, and then I can make sure that this is enabled and hit save. So just like that, ChatGPT went from thinking like a university professor to a business coach. I'm going to close this sidebar, and now I can send off any message I want with consensus search enabled. Now consensus search just allows for more in-depth analysis. So if you want to dive into actual scientific papers on whatever you're researching, if you're an analytical learner and you really like diving into the why behind things, then this plugin is a very important one to have activated. So I've typed out a prompt in ChatGPT. I've given it some further information in order to help me with my problem. I say, I run a small online business where I sell digital productivity templates on Notion. I need help researching strategies used by Fortune 500 companies that I can implement into my business to help grow and produce more sales. And then I can go a little bit more in depth on some information for ChatGPT. I say, my business generates $10,000 a month make these strategies relate to my price range because these Fortune 500 companies are generating millions, if not billions of dollars. So I want these strategies to be able to relate to my price range and I don't want them to be too crazy. And now that I have consensus search enabled, as well as my custom instructions over here, thinking as a professional business coach, I can send off this prompt and see the amazing results. I'm going to send that off and it's not only going to give me strategies from this custom instruction, but it's also going to give me amazing links and resources I can use from consensus search if I ask. As you can see, it gives me a step-by-step -step plan with actions, budgets, and everything I'd need to start implementing this into my business, which is great. But what if I want to go even deeper? Well, then I can tell ChatGPT to use the consensus search plugin in order to find research backing these strategies. 
So what I'll do after this is add plugin and I can send that off. Now ChatGPT will actually use that plugin in order to find research that is backing these strategies, you know? What is the science behind what makes these work? And as you can see, it will go even deeper into the rationale and the research backing that rationale. And it's giving me links that I can use all from different time periods, which is great. So it gives us the strategy, it gives us the research, and now I can click on these links and I can go read deeper into that research on this page here. If I want to, I can even go to the full text to read more about this. And I can really read deeper in depth into why does this work? This has been how to use ChatGPT to research anything, whether that's for studying for school, independent research, business growth, or analytics, you know, whatever it may be. And the two things we used in today's video were custom instructions and that consensus search plugin. So I recommend you utilize those two together in order to get some amazing results. Now, if you want to learn how to really prompt on ChatGPT and really get the answers you're looking for, then consider also purchasing my ChatGPT mastery course where I go from A to Z on how to use ChatGPT. We almost have 70 community members as of today and everyone is loving it. They are learning so much more about ChatGPT. You can find a link to the ChatGPT mastery course in the top pinned comment or the description below. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and comment below letting me know your feedback. Subscribe to stay updated with ChatGPT and other AI tools as well. I'll see you in the next video.